we're here. You know, this is a little different for our longtime viewers, you know, across the seven seas and continents. We're here, the 1080C podcast. I don't know what episode in the flesh. Is. Yeah, we're actually like, here. People, you know. Yeah. Oh <laughs> it looks really weird on this because it just looks like you're coming out of the void, but I know we can see yeah. you on that one. Do they need to put their heads in? <laughs> uh, I mean, you can if you would like to. Yeah, we're going to uh, Ben and Hannah as well, you know. Um, but I think we should start with intro introductions, of course, you know. If you guys don't know me, I'm Trevor Valentine. You know, this is my co-host. Hi, Sophie Ryan in the flesh. I'm Willis Fuller. Okay. We're going this way. <laughs> we are going this way. Hi. Hannah's eating goldfish. I love goldfish. My name's Jennifer. Ellen. One second, I want to my goldfish. Damn, bro. <laughs> Supposed to be prepared. Uh, I'm done worry. <laughs> I'm also in 1080C. Yeah, we're we're all you know, part of this big shebang. You know, I we're guess. all really big deals there, except for Willis. Yeah. Damn. Oh my <laughs> god! You can't say that. Damn. No, you can because I'm I just I'm only here. But Willis is also like the king of Paddington. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. And that Willis was a, that was also has dream. been on the podcast more than either That's of the two combined. So well, really, as the podcast mother, I'd say. I feel like <laughs> edited all the, all the podcasts except for some of them. No one watches the credits. Right. She's cut out oh. my Lola Bunny jokes. So yeah, 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 yeah. every time Trevor talks about the hat lessons, I'm like, well, what kind of <laughs> what kind of Lola Bunny jokes were you making? Oh, Anyways, on yeah. the subject of uh being a child, um <laughs> um our topic this week is back to school. Um because no during the, in school yeah it, during the time of recording thousands yeah. of freshmen are pouring onto mm -hmm. usc's campus to move in and go cox right yeah and begin their college life to move in and go cox <laughs> yeah <laughs> do we have to censor that no i'm not that, that's part of our you was no 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 you it's, fine. Go it's fine it's fine yeah. no yeah, you can cox. you can say go cox it's like I, yeah, I, going gorillas it's like one the same. Oh, two Three. Go, Go Cox. Cox. Oh, <laughs> Anyways. Um, what? Yeah, we're here. Back to school, you know, back on the grind, you know. Um, I'm running out of attitude. Okay. Here. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so we basically just wanted to talk about how when you're going into this school school and um mm. you know you grow up watching these movies like pretty in pink or the breakfast club and that kind of thing and you just really go into high school with such a unrealistic expectation mm. of what high school should be um and then you get there and realize that it is not for four five very neat kids doing weird stuff <laughs> in the library. Instead, it's yeah. thousands and thousands of. Is weird stuff what the kids are calling weed these days? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they did do weed if in the not, library. I forgot about should. that. Hmm? They should not do, do, do weed. weed in the library. <laughs> <laughs> My dad watches this. I can't admit to anything. What is allegedly. this weed you speak of? This is all allegedly. Um, right. This is not admissible in court. Correct. Dictionary paper is perfect for blondes. That's why. Yeah. Just, oh, man. We're actually doing satire. But going back to unrealistic expectations, you know, uh, I guess I can open it up with mm -hmm. you know, a little story time. Mm -hmm. Our viewers know about, um, about it. I remember being a kid, you know, watching Ferris Bueller, thinking, you know, when I go to high school, it's going to be so, I'm going to have so much fun, man. And I got in there and it was like, Ooh, I have crippling social okay, anxiety. Wait a second. Ferris Bueller doesn't even spend the majority of the film at school. Exactly. That's I, the best part. Ferris, Ferris Bueller's like the anti you in high school, then. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Ferris Bueller sets an unrealistic expectation That's on what you should do when you do if you're cool. finally now, get out of a day of school. I will say that I think I, I can relate to Ferris Bueller because I often skipped high school. Oh, well, really? Me too, but I wasn't yeah. uh, well, pretending to be the hot dog king of Chicago that's true, that's true. and I, being in the middle of a float. Mine, mine were very lame. I I would like say up too late texting with people. Yeah. Uh, usually, like oh if, if I have like a crush on somebody, like I'm in the because I was like 14, uh, and then I, I fell like, asleep before I was. I fell asleep before I was ready for my uh, Latin tests, and then I'd be like, "Oh no, I'm not ready for Latin." I. 
have only one cool running away, not running away, but skipping high school. I skipped middle school, in fact. Uh, um, I don't even know how you do that. Thanks. I lived like down the street from my middle school, so I'd walk to mm-hmm. middle school. And um, I also live right next to some woods. <laughs> so instead of walking to my middle school one day, I just went and played around in the, the woods, woods <laughs> for like hours. I did get caught because I had to pee and I refused to pee in the woods. So I got caught sneaking back into my house through my bedroom window. Um, and then I got taken to Burger King, which was pretty. Punishment. What a good punishment. Yeah, yeah, it didn't matter. See, I don't know. I think I was just, uh, I think I was just a little too young. Yeah. <laughs> That's We're gonna have two. a sense of that. Yeah. How many? Wait, do we have like a number of swears we have? No, we have zero. Oh, the okay. number is zero. As we go on word two. Oh, okay. We should have brought up the swears for like. Yeah, I tried really like hard. Swear words. a little bit too. Oh, well. hmm. Yellow bellied. <laughs> oh, I was gonna go a different. Direction. We're just gonna yeah. put like dog barking over it. Probably. Well, That's all you, but. Yeah, I told you like. <laughs> to the DMX part. I was. <laughs> That's a great idea. I think I'm gonna use that. But. I was always a little too scared, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm not trying to stay at home with my dad. <laughs> oh, I, dad, if you watch the mm-hmm. podcast, you know, thank you for raising me. But listen, man, back when I was a kid, I was a little scared to skip school, you know? <laughs> dad, I know you're listening. Um, you can't really change what happened in the past. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I will say that my school skipping was done, like, at the reluctant approval of my parents mm. who mm. I explained the situation to and I was like you know either I'm gonna get a really b- I'm gonna get a bad latin grade or I'm gonna stay home it's up to you and I'm surprised this negotiating tactic worked I don't think it does anymore isn't there school in ET I think so I, have I don't that. remember technically they're at school because they're kids but I don't think they went to school well, right I, I wonder I if the, I think the school, school is one of the places that the government takes over right there's that frog scene. <laughs> well, like, no, like, they go to school and E.T.'s at home. But he wants to be at school. I don't remember. I don't think, no, he's just, like, yeah, breaking know. stuff because he's confused well, and an alien baby. I have, there's school in a lot of things then. I do think that, that most of the kids are at yeah. school when E.T. does that scene where he's, like, the stuffed animal and he's staying really still. That's cute. I would like to admit right here, right now, that I don't actually remember much of E.T., but I do remember a lot of Mac and me, um, the... Very terrible. You guys never seen no. Mac and Me? Mac and Me is pretty good. It's so bad. My dad sends me clips all the time. They have it's it's E. T. and yep. it's 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 E. T. but the kids also in a wheelchair and it's very terrible. And it's a McDonald's. It's an entirely a McDonald's ad. It's one whole McDonald's ad. But there's, there's a scene where the kid in the wheelchair like goes flying down a hill and then off a cliff. My dad sends me that scene all the time. Yeah. And there's like a musical number in a McDonald's. Right. It's it's like, great for no reason. There's just solid dance break. I know, but I think Speaking that one of, was during the summer. Like Speaking Duncan of Chino. musicals, yeah. high school high musical. High school musical. I remember being a kid, and you know, when you're when you're a kid in elementary school, you can't, especially if you're, you know, a guy or still, you can't you can't really reveal that you like high school musicals that age because you're a little insecure, you know. But I definitely used to jam out to that high school musical soundtrack. When did it come out? Oh, I I feel like I recall being like in kindergarten and at the after school they, they turned it on. Yes. The number of times that I was made to watch high school musical a by a like school official was more than five, I'm sure. And this film. now wait. Brilliant piece of cinema. I had a twin. No, I still have a twin. <laughs> 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 you absorbed it's her. Like, he's still alive, mind you. Um, but we were little blonde little twins, and at the time they were Sharpay and Ryan. Oh, okay. So when they made us watch this movie, uh, everyone just made fun of us. <laughs> so it just really haunted me as a child. Not really. I just was like, ooh. So you're not a big high school musical fan? I actually right? really love the second. I think it's. Phenomenal. Like Shrek 2? High school they, musical 2? Same they really showed it to me too often, and it really turned me off from the whole concept. I respect that. I also remember, I think my third grade class, like we had a choice, like what read aloud book we were going to read. Um, Wait, it is related. <laughs> we had a choice, and it was like split. Have, have the goldfish. Um, it was, it was, there was a split uh, along. Uh, little boy and little girl lines as to what book we were going to have the read aloud be 
Mm -hmm. And then one of the guys defected and we listened, we had to listen to High School Musical for like an entire semester. As a book? Yes. Okay. Our teacher read aloud the novelization oh. of High School Musical. <laughs> Absolutely not. And we were kind of mad at that guy. I feel, in retrospect, is it that a fun movie though? It's kind of turned into the weird cult classic way, in the sense that I like mean, it has the tropes. It's cute. I think it's that, like it. they got that Disney Plus show that I. It's don't terrible. Watch. I've seen. I I oh, is it Olivia Rodrigo in that yeah, show? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, not again. I've I can't escape. To her music it's, it's, except I don't for either, but... TikTok, you know. But I have been aggressively. Um, what's the word? The, the word, you know, like the thing that Washington does? George? No. Um, <laughs> lobbied. I've been lobbied aggressively to enjoy <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. So therefore, he rebels You meant him. Washington is in, like, the, city. the Senate? Yes. <laughs> Not as in, like, I mean, I mean as in the seat of governments. Ah, uh, okay, got it, got it, got it. State. I, just the state. Yes. What about like Mean Girls then? Mean Girls, I would say yes. My list also has Napoleon Dynamite, which I would like to talk about just because I love that movie. Are we rating these films on accounts of their, their accuracy to the high school experience? I would say Napoleon Dynamite is pretty accurate to the high school experience. Yeah. Okay, I, I feel like it, I like, you know, it's, it's all, it's, it's all the kind of creamy stuff and then occasionally movie something movie. works out weirdly well and you're like, ah. Right, right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do the, they do bike tricks. I, I would know. hope I none of you found. Like, yeah, 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 they have like that one scene where, um, trying to do like a bike stunt. Where Pedro is trying to do a yeah. bike stunt and he just comes down really hard on the seat and hurts his, yeah. you know. It's scary. <laughs> See, we're not going to have our horse wear. All right. And it's just really funny because like, I don't know, it's just like life. I think it captures like the awkwardness of high school. Yeah. Like eighth grade. Eighth grade, eighth grade is a nice scene. It. It's I movie. could not finish that movie because I got to the scene where she was going and I was like, I cannot do this. No. That I, movie gave me uh, second Oh, I said, I just said to you, I haven't seen it. And then you go straight into like a spoiler. I, that's like the I don't time think that's... It. It's the fifth time. No, it, she's done it more than once. That's why I'm saying. Dang. It's not a big spoiler. It's just part of the film. It's about... I'm, I'm or it's not like... A, I want to go in though. I know. Yeah. I, I, like I think that eighth grade did also you, capture... So I hear it's like... The yeah. awkwardness. Awkward. Yeah. Even maybe even more so than Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, right, that's just why it's I very could... intense on it, I and I can see why people might not like it very much. I think really, I, 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 I think I think that the I think that the directing is good, and I think that the the acting is good. I, that girl okay. is really good. Actually, yes, that's all right. I think that's why I one of the reasons why I struggled with continuing to watch it was because I was trying to watch it alone, and I was just like, uh, I watched it. I think I watched it alone in the living room of my parents' apartment. Ah. I caught bad secondhand anxiety, especially at the scene where she's going to the party. Oh, my dad will discover you. I mean, at some point, she goes to a party. It's a high school yeah. point. It's, a, it's a school movie. She, it's... she goes to a party, and it's just like the way that it's edited, it feels like everybody's just staring at her. And just, yeah. Gives me. It's, bad it's very well done. I think that he really utilizes all of the cinematic tricks to make you feel terrible. Not a spoiler for this film, but it does tie into sort of school film genre. Mm -hmm. I had posed the question when talking about this podcast, when do we become too old for high school movies? Or when do these films become like non-relatable? Not in this, but in the sense that like schools are different nowadays. So in not are you are you saying not necessarily eighth grade, but other eighth grade films, like there's like a whole bunch of school shooting references. And nothing happens in the film, but it's like that they go with the drills and stuff and like upset me. But like also I was just like you know, like, I don't, like, we're in a different time, so maybe it's yeah. just, like, not as, like, so it, I don't know, it's very, it's a whole Are you, life. are you asking at what point a film becomes too dated to feel relatable? No, at what point is it's, like, we're, like, oh, that's not, like, weird. Euphoria. Yeah, euphoria, I, I, some people are, like, uh, oh, that's not what high school is like, but others are, like, that's exactly what high school is like. But, what? like, I can't speak, right? Not Might have been what school high school was like for people who were cooler than me and did more drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my point. Like, is there a time when it's like we've been out of high school too long, so we don't actually know when these new movies that are coming out are like, oh, that's what high school. I think. I think this is a very of, like, broad question. Speaking so. of euphoria, this is a little side tangent. Like, I never came to school that dripped out. Like, come on, man. Like, they, they, you can tell they have a coordinated stylist. Like, they're gonna come to school. I, like, I wore so leggings weird. as pants for four years straight. I did not own a single pair of jeans, and you're I, 
like towards the end of high school, I really did not like being there. Right. Which I mean, everybody. Ben had senioritis. I, I, my senior superlative. I was nominated for the school's worst case of senior rights. Yeah, me too. Oh, nice. Um, I I did not like it in my last year, especially, and I stopped I caring. Don't remember I high wore the well. same hoodie like, at least out. three times a week. Like I don't remember um, specific details. They knew. Oh shoot! Like I don't think I had similar experiences yeah. to y'all because I ran track cross country. I did cross country too. Yeah, and like uh, they, were, know, they were they were athletes. Yeah, so yeah. High school, like. Yeah. I ran the Latin club. I got the Latin award at my at my school. I don't know Latin anymore. I don't either. I still hang out with Salway. my teacher, though. I saw the green knot with my Latin teacher, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go off on this little tangent real quick. Trevor, spoilers for the green knight. They don't go to school on the green knight. I liked it. Oh, I'm also, I love King Arthur. Me too. I, <laughs> this is why I, I have something to say. <laughs> the amount of people in the world that have heard about King Arthur, so small. Mm-hmm. That's my point. Is it my point? No, I mean, no. Because I like, more know. often than not, someone's like, everybody who works at my job is like King Arthur who, and I'm like, me too. Like, I feel like Greek mythology is more. He's English. Are you saying? Wait, you've no, never heard of yeah. the like the. Okay. Like, so Greek like Greek mythology is more. But it, it's weird because it's like because English. you're just saying that's that because you were Percy Jackson. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. because of <laughs> Percy Jackson. <laughs> moved greek mythology into the yes we do speaking of I that, like percy that's, a that's a school movie that they go to school in percy jackson no but they go to regardless camp regardless of that and school. that and school but doesn't it feel like that more people like the thing is is i always feel like i feel like some people know the king arthur myths but also at the same time don't like there's such a very selective nobody wants to eyes. read uh the one and the once I had to read the right? Once in Future King. Once in Future King. I don't know. I just feel like Greek. It was in my AP lit class. It was, just, it was like, okay. It wasn't the worst unit we had. I read it well, for fun. Like, when, uh, I didn't have like for fun. I just yeah. Yeah. Where do you find it though? Well, well, my first, mom? it started with the Disney movie. Your mom. King yeah. Arthur. Yeah. My it's when he's a kid. It's like from the like '60s. I missed it. There was Excalibur, mm-hmm. that movie. With the sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was also the sword. the sword and the Stone. Yeah. So you just kind of read them, and they're like, oh. Yeah. This is I mean, they're also like, I feel like there were a bunch of movies that Tumblr like, people were into at one point. And like, wasn't there like a Merlin show? There were yeah, yeah. There's a BBC Merlin. Yeah. Show. yeah, yeah. I, re- I remember the one that everybody wanted Merlin that. and Arthur to be like, but gay. Yeah, but like, oh. I, Willis sure. said but and I was <laughs> yeah and I knew you were going for gay so yeah. okay. like connected King Arthur has been like you can see the little petals it goes through modern history like there's always some form of Excalibur and like superhero stuff yeah. like yeah. Or, like there's a Merlin type who trained like oh I gotta go trains Luke. let me go retrieve that big hammer yeah I mean there's always going to be a mentor it's the hero's journey there's yeah. always going to be someone to teach yeah. the other it's just the way that it is but it's usually directly when this is a bad King school, Arthur, to Mar- especially in the <laughs> <laughs> King Arthur applies to I have one more mythology where it's like people know it but it's not like well the monster listen all right I, I think I guess, that Percy Jackson really did all of that yeah I guess that's physically untrue I don't think so because even before I don't reading think so. Percy Jackson, those myths were so like like okay. For instance, in so many so much of film and everything is based on like the like the, not the tragedy or the like the stories. What are the short stories called where you teach a lesson? You know, don't play so fables. So on, fables. Yes, on like the simple messages of like don't be bad. Are you, you talking know? about like Icarus? Yes, and, and like um, Prometheus and like <laughs> a little less that one, but the, the Green Knight. Yes, okay, so listen, in that category, but listen, I just I have one I have one last thing to say on this tangent, then we can go back. I just spent $150 on fabric to make Deb Patel's cape thing. Cool. Every night. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you. I it's gonna be fantastic. Catch me wearing that uh nonstop. You better wear that to like um all the all the parties. I will. Yeah. You're gonna do it? You're yeah. You're gonna do the green night task? I yeah, I'm, I'm party. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, why not? We have to get a green night now. <laughs> Way to go, Sophie. I, I'm uh, a mouth. I haven't done it yet. I have the mouth of a proud. sailor. Oh, yeah, and Monty Python. Hmm? Yeah, Monty why Python. Oh, yeah, Monty Python. Python the Holy I have never seen Monty Python in the Holy Grail. Me neither. Blast. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that, that was really a peak in the audio. Yeah, I, I slammed I, several times. That's no. Fine. We'll get that. I'm done. Sorry. I personally am not sure that it's something to high five over who have not seen much. <laughs> right. I just I just got it. Yeah, we're gonna watch it. We I remember being 
Like it, it may be a little bit like old at this point, but also I remember being Wait, like a little kid and like thinking it was the it, literal funniest thing I'd ever we seen. We watched it in one of my See, high school English classes. I was yeah, as a kid, I, I was watching like Ghostbusters. I love Ghostbusters. I don't know how you were watching Ghostbusters and you didn't get to I that was, seems like a movie. You're passing a lot of judgment right now. No, I'm saying that. <laughs> I think that these movies, like when you say I was watching Ghostbusters, you imply that these are unrelated, which they are not. I they are like, 80s comedy. Is, yeah. is it 80s? What? I think it's like uh, Holy like Grail. 70s. Holy Grail is 70s. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Monty um, Python. They are, but they are like those comedies of the same era that like my dad is super into. Sit dad era. But like, everyone's dad was yeah. into. We've yeah. all seen Ghostbusters. Can we agree? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, See, but like my mom put me on all that stuff. My dad. He tried to make us watch like serious movies as a kid. What, what, dad said, no, <laughs> what did your dad want to watch? Probably some like mobster. Oh my god, like that one British super spy movie that I watched that was terrible. Which one? Johnny um, English? No. The most mature spy. No, it was hold on, I'll find it. It was so terrible. Bad. It was the worst right. thing. Oh, I've are you talking watched. about uh Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy? No, I'm not. I That's think, a funny name. I like I that. I think name. the only reason I watched like the social network as a 12-year-old is because my dad my mom <laughs> my mom would do that too that takes place in school that does that does, that does. Oh, that's a and honestly it's a little bit more related because we're in college uh, yeah. haven't seen it hey so we're basically in harvard i just keep forgetting we're basically in harvard speaking yeah, we go to harvard. of yeah. college we're we're better than um work. Goofy movie too. Scooby Doo movie. A Scooby Doo movie. The second one. They're in college. Well, there's flashbacks to college. We're yes, there there is flashbacks to college. <laughs> what flashback? Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed does include a, a college flashback. <laughs> I think movie night. No, we have to do it. Okay, whatever. I'm doing Honestly, that should go in the Halloween oh, movies podcast. Yeah, I'm having Scooby Doo party. Yeah, yeah. Sure. of I course need, we are. I need to tell my roommates first. Okay. No, you don't. <laughs> well, t- they can dress up too. Spring it on. So before we started this whole Trevor, tangent. You too. Way before we started this whole tangent, oh, yeah. we, okay. we um Hannah brought up the point of when are we when are high school movies too uh, distant from us to be relatable, and that brings in the point that there should be more college movies. Um, I think a lot of times high school movies get made because it's the perfect time for a coming of age because you're turning 18 and then also like being sent off to college but nobody really cares about the journey afterwards i was trying to think about college movies and the only one that i could think about was what is it neighbors the one with (laughs) with zach Zach efron (laughs) i will say that my college experience so far has been exactly like neighbors i did watch a college movie like two weeks ago called accepted a comedy from like two Monsters months. University. Pitch, oh, it's Monsters. in the name. It's perfect. Monsters University. Oh, 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 oh. What's, the, what's the one? What's the one? Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. To be honest, I, feel I gotta most bring high it. school movies like they seem to take <laughs> place in college with how like they Animal act House. with each other. Mm-hmm. I know that truth or dare. God's not dead. Out. That's a college. Oh god. <laughs> Not that one. Legally Blonde is a college movie. So if you watch it, that's a grad school movie. It is a grad school movie. She spends time in college. Then she does. She goes to law school. Uh, Speaking of going Spends time in college the way Lady Bird spends time in college. I love Lady Bird. What a great show. Actually, wait. Back to my favorite scene in Lady Bird. Which one? The the dance scene. That's your favorite scene? I'll explain it. As a kid that went to prom. Trevor's a big shallow man. As a kid that went to prom. We had like a theme. Did everyone here go to prom? I went to prom. Good. I threw right. up twice at prom. Oh my god. Got dumped at prom. Damn. Oh. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> Continue, Trevor. But um, in that scene, they're playing the crossroads a song by Bone Thugs and Harmony. And it does not fit with the theme that's like cowboys and whatnot. As a kid, they went to prom. I remember them playing Migos, Bad and Bougie. And our theme was like cowboys or something. And I remember damn I think it is a bad ombre. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's videos of me dancing. I don't have them. Oh, you don't? Other Insert people. them right here now. Uh, yeah, that's all you. Other people have them. I don't I don't know if I want to say risk that public embarrassment, but I I always thought that scene felt super authentic because I was like, hey, I can relate to this, you know. Yeah. You know, you you now reminded me that Trevor will be editing this and presumably putting pictures of himself in high school on screen. Is that going to be shallow in college and probably our name or high school? Trevor's going to look at our old Instagram. I I just want to say a a round of applause for Trevor having to edit his own face. I'm so 
Trevor, just like go to our no. old Instagrams, take that first picture, and all just the like, deleted. <laughs> whatever we're talking. I, I think I archived all my. Oh, oh, you can just get the. <laughs> I archived all my old prom pics, but that's that's back. I do my best not to see things. Do the tag from high school. My mom might have some. I don't like editing videos of myself or Trevor. I, I keep on bringing. I shouldn't stop. I, I should don't. Stop. I should call stop. me by your name is not a. It's not a school. I was like. Oh, I was just curious. That's a camp movie. I, for some reason, they even call your name. They're in the same. It's Tim Chalamet. Chalamet. It's, probably it's the Chalamet movie. thing. It's, it now, by the way, this isn't really related, but do we think that Army Hammer eats people? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, she's rich. Uh, Ryan, I'm she's like... had to have tasted someone. I feel like that. I. <laughs> Such a weird guy. I feel like maybe that's like scene... statistically, he probably like if he said that, he probably could you has... phrase that in a way that doesn't make it sound sexual? <laughs> I mean, that's what Call Me By Your Name was about, right? Yes, uh, but there was which, a which have you done that concept? Call Me, there was a peach, by right? Your name. I thought he wanted to eat one sexually, so it's like, yeah, like call still me. it counts. I, I think, like, yeah, so I imagine that Army Hammer in real life like, is like me. Army Hammer yes, in I, um, I, I get it, in, uh, I get it. Sorry to bother you, no. <laughs> no. By the way, sorry to bother you. It's like one of my favorite movies. It's a great movie. It's I just want to. Um, I, I would like, like to so. throw out. I don't know if anybody yet has watched the uh, Fear Street series. I have not. No, you don't. You watch them? Yeah, I like um, the second one. It was okay. They seemed like like Stranger Things. But I liked movies. it. Oh! I liked it a lot. 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 I would like to go off on this one tangent right. very quickly. Tell us about I, how you liked it a lot. Because I, I've talked about R.L. Stein on this podcast before and quite mm -hmm. a bit. And I would like to say that I will always vouch for Fear Street being one of the better R.L. Stein universes because they let him actually like injure and murder children. I'm glad that we really let R.L. Stein injure and murder. Yeah. I just think that horror is really hard to pull off if when you, you're if not. If there's no a, consequences. If there's really like no threat to anybody, and that's part of the reason why a lot of the Goosebumps series oh, and I, such comes off as just like big jokey and whatever because there's no real danger in it for anybody. I and... agree with you. I just thought it was funny that okay. you phrased it as R.L. So, Stein is murdering children. In Star Wars, you know how we can like take off limbs yeah so yeah. like in children's media can can you do that no can like well, you can't kill Wars. a kid but can you maim a kid you can't maim him they did in Star Wars. Show that. do we consider star wars children's media because i think we might yeah like he murdered children i love that scene <laughs> wait no not so, like that it's just really funny so like mystery so like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I got so uncomfortable during that. I was like, did he just Master murder a bunch Skywalker of children? Is and this, why is this movie God. like it's just this, so that like, movie was so weird? Then, yeah, like, so we can, I think the rule is generally there can be no like I think it has no. to I think it, I think it has to be like you can like paralyze a kid, but you can't like take a kid's arm off that's not allowed Speaking it's got to be only injuries that you can't see right no blood Speaking mm -hmm. of no blood. like a little shadow and just yeah what kids media are we talking about Speaking yeah. goosebumps fear streets or are you afraid of the dark are you afraid of the dark is no movie? wait what's the other one yes so i am stories to tell in the dark yes that was a movie because mm. del toro but they movie. but they did kill kids in that one as well right mm -hmm. kind of it just reminded me of pan's labyrinth oh a good one pan's labyrinth not a very good movie either they're not afraid of a kid, maybe. We briefly touched on Stranger Things. We did. So I think it's important to touch upon the fact that the fellows who made the Stranger Things went to Stephen King originally and were like, hey, we love it. We want to make it into a miniseries. And Stephen King Round was two. Like, get out. I don't want to make it into a miniseries. And then in the time, they had pre production going on for the movie. Yeah. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but uh, watch it and uh, you know what's Good to know. Yeah, yeah, thank you. The future, right? They were. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it like, the second it? No, it's the, the first one. It's a, it's a school movie, technically. There's, like there's a school scene. School. There's a school scene. There's some school in, in it. In the book, or the book, the book, the book, the book, the book, the book. It's the shower scene. Yeah. Oh, like, speaking, yeah. Of, That's school. speaking of school movies where kids die, you know, Jennifer's body. Ah. Uh, we, we, we knew we were going to get here eventually. <laughs> I have not seen I Jennifer's body. I haven't seen the third act. I kind so of felt Interesting. I liked it a lot, though. Could you? You liked it a lot? Yeah. Could someone give me a plot I, summary of Jennifer's body? Wait, why is that interesting? I, 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 I do not care I, I about spoilers for Jennifer's body. Okay. 
for our viewers, spoilers for Jennifer's body, of course. And so, everything else we talked about, probably. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Snape kills Dumbledore. But <laughs> <laughs> what a uh, girl, well, Jennifer, played by you know Megan Fox, mm -hmm. gets turned into a succubus by some cult rock band who is trying to sell out to the devil. I will say from this pitch. Another one. Uh, it's a fun, like do, do they it. do we feel that they deliver on the promise of that premise? Didn't mean for that to you get to hear the voice actor of Patrick Starr swear to the sky. Yeah, like that's neat. It it's it's fun. it's like something that. interesting. It was mad goofy, but I loved it. I had fun. You know the soundtrack. No, it's very There's that Panic at the Disco song. I know that one. What is that Isn't one? Isn't he like a like a pedo though? Panic at the Disco Man. Yes. Brendan Urie? Yeah. Like a, is like he? All this stuff here, like big allegations oh, and everything. It's been a hard. I mean, I knew like, he was, was an. Pretty when? I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't know, know about that at all. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I knew he was an asshole from the moment that Ryan Ross left that band after See, a fever you can't sweat why, out. Everybody note that one down. He's he's a terrible person. That's why we stand. P.O.S. <laughs> we stand Tom, we stand Tom York. <laughs> you, made this you heard it here first. But that song in Jennifer's Body is so good. It's so good. It's I good. don't think that Jennifer's Body is worth the hype. It's Plainly Hannah, crazy. you were the one with the contrary opinion, so I think you should defend yourself. And Thank then you. I, just, I, I, I will be the audience it. surrogate and, and vote. It bloomed this past summer with the use of all the new social medias and everything. People were like, oh my God, yes, the aesthetic. And they were using it in music videos and this and that. And I was like, oh, maybe it's actually good. And then I sat down and I watched, I paid money to watch it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that was garbage. And then I left. And Did you watch it directly no. or theatrical? I honestly don't know. I just Amazon. Wait, there's now, a director's cut? It's a lot different. What about? Really? I gotta it's, see that. Like, now. there's enough differences Ooh. that it's like, okay, this is a little better. That's interesting. What about Jennifer's body? Do you think is not good? Yeah. It's kind of like a black comedy. Like, it's kind of like, very mm -hmm. dark and everything, but in not the ways that works. Not the writing the is that really. Works. It's kind of. I don't like much. it. Like, I don't actually see the parts where everyone's like, "Oh, it's a women in power." I honestly don't. I'm, I don't boss. walk away from this film. I, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I don't leave the film like, "Oh yeah, that so much for like it didn't." I was watching with my mm -hmm. with my female best friend, and we were like, "Okay." Cool, cool aesthetic, I guess. Um, and then, like, I was comparing it to films like Heather's and films that had like really done oh, so good. Why did we not mention Heather's? We should. That's a good, oh, like, I was know, trying to mention that. But yeah. God, I love so Heather's. Thank you. What? Speaking of kids dying. Let me. Let me say what this first. If I was in your like first body, I, I would have died ten minutes. In. I'm just like, oh, no. why? Were you trying to get killed by Megan Fox? <laughs> yeah, clearly, Trevor was one of them. Horny jail. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Leave the room. <laughs> Horny jail for you Trevor. Stop, Listen. Listen, I put that in my letterbox review. I was like, you see, the most unrealistic part about this movie is like that, like that any dudes are alive. That, but also, I probably would have died like five minutes. I think that in future podcasts, it sounds like Trevor has a tendency. Yeah, I know. Um, towards Lola Bunny and Jennifer Fo uh, Megan Fox related things. Jennifer Fox. Why don't we? I'd like to build a horny jail prop. Transformers Two <laughs> is a college movie. Transformers oh, Two no, is a college my movie. Oh my gosh! gosh. But no speaking of uh, kids who die, Heather's. Heather's amazing. Heather's Heather's is very good. Amazing I like Heather's stuff. a lot. Well, it's got Christian Slater. It's got it does. Yeah, from I've Mr. watched Robot. Since I was like, 15 so the, col the color theory in Heather's great it's fantastic but I I can't prove it this is not a, a principled critical reading of Heather's yeah. I only saw it once a long time ago unfortunately not a long time like a couple like a year or two ago mm -hmm. um it reminded me of like uh those interpretations of like blue velvet I'd seen or yes. it was like look at this very nice Reagan-y place and then now we're gonna do violent stuff mm -hmm. To prove that it's actually not that cool and i like that that's a neat thing to do we really live in a society like we we do live in a society, <laughs> society. By, by our ten, uh by our podcast merch we live in a society <laughs> we um, invented that joke. yeah 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 we did <laughs> that yeah no one's i don't think anyone's copyrighted. No, no 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 I love her. Oh, what's the one about the high schoolers who are witches that was made in that same time? The craft. The craft. Yes. They just remade like it, didn't the they? I hope. Did they? They just remade it. I hope. I know the DP. Hillary Syrup? No. I hope it's okay. I hope it's good because the craft is such a you good movie. I don't think you can remake that because it's so 90s. It's so 90s. The craft legacy is. Now, can I pose a question? 
Yeah. Do we consider Suspiria to be a school movie? Yes. Yeah. I love Suspiria. I do too. Both ones. Very interesting. It's great. I, mm. It looks very TikTok. Tom York. It's, it kind Shout of out for the soundtrack. Once Here's again. the new <laughs> Honestly, I like the, <laughs> the original <laughs> soundtrack more, but Tom York is very good. I haven't oh, seen it. Oh, all the shows. Yeah, like Sabrina, Riverdale, all those like. It's like, so very like, like It's Riverdale. Sensory. Aggressively uh, fun. Riverdale sucks. Teen Wolf sucks. 13 oh, Reasons team? Why. Oh, 13. Oh, what a, shut. We could talk about oh. 13 Reasons Why. I don't want to talk about 13 Reasons Why because I think that they uh, they use that a lot to um, talk about mental health in all the wrong ways. I, I read the book when it was first published and I I was like, oh, eh. And it like it made me cry, obviously, because like I suffer from mental health issues. I'm seriously mm. mentally ill. and But the TV show just is, it, is right. wrong. It's just very wrong. I you said know. Teen Wolf sucks. Yeah. Teen Wolf is very predictable, but I did watch Wait, you're talking Twilight. About, you talking about the Michael? We Shirt have to talk about Twilight. No, no. Oh, no, you're no, talking no. about the show. I am talking okay. about the TV show Ooh. Teen Wolf with Dylan O'Brien and <laughs> oh, one okay, other TV. guy. I was about to I was, say, I, I call we, we can't be by the girls the cross team because I look like Isaac Leahy. Uh-huh. I heard that joke probably a thousand times because I went to so many other games. Dang. I was like, that's, that's mm-hmm. why were you in so I many girls the cross games? Then? Horny jail. It wasn't um, horny jail. I hate it here. So, oh man. If oh. they were making fun of you constantly, why did you want to go and hang out there? It's the type of women so, you attract. Uh, Twilight. Yeah, because okay. I was they talking to them. In high school, they keep repeating high school because they're like English. <laughs> that's so funny now, to me. Y'all yeah, remember why? Jasper is a Civil War veteran <laughs> from the Confederate side. <laughs> yeah, I think about that one often. I didn't. Know okay, that. wait. I have not actually seen Isn't Twilight. It? I just hear a lot. And Edward hasn't <laughs> bought a hundred years. Right. That's why he's. Oh god. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like I, <laughs> I just remember like that thing where like she walks into the room and he's like. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. That. We should do commentary we, for movies. I think I that, think Twi- that good, think like Twilight like should be our first movie night. We just plan movie nights. Well, we're going to do our own meeting. Mystery Science Theater 3000. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can do that. I've met one of the Mystery Science Theater guys. Me that. too. Was very, yeah, they're very nice. I love them. Uh, Twilight, though, you know. I find it very funny that Edward Cullen wants to just keep repeating high school. But why would he want to go to high school? If there's anywhere they're, to go. They gotta be non-suspicious. Bro. And they're winning. I don't understand why they didn't go to college though. Yeah, I would college, college is much more fun to be in kind of Maybe indefinitely. He went to college. Maybe he's really he stupid. Did go to college <laughs> he just, he's been trying forever. Man. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think they get wrong. married. Bella has the baby. It's over for them. No, no, That's I it. Mean, like, don't they mention they've like been to so many different schools? I think they went to college. They went to different like high schools. I don't know. That's the I like. I could be in no, college for a long time. College. Honestly, I like. I like learning stuff. Like they'd have at least like five PhDs. Right. Just I would thrive. Dude, I would know everything. Carter, what's his name? I'd become like Carter Sheen and the doctor. Uh, yeah, right, so. I've become like Sheen. But I think Neutron he was a doctor big, before he, he became a vampire. Yeah. I think that the Twilight vampires are the weakest vampires because they become a vampire and they're suddenly like, I have to stay exactly where I was when I became a vampire and nothing can ever change what? for me ever they again. They go to Washington because it's all cloudy. Oh, right, um, but they continue to do the things that they've always like done. Edwards. They continue to go to high school. Carlisle was a doctor before he became a vampire, continues to you be a doctor. They abandoned the concept of advancement. Right, they they just they just settle because they're gonna live forever. And they vibe out. You're gonna live for. They, you know, they were clearly the suffering. If you were gonna they live forever, baseball. They gotta practice. They gotta practice. Twilight, study. Twilight, iconic. If you were to live forever, why would you ever do that in high school indefinitely? I mean, that's, that's, that's like because it's a game, bro. My you little, like, my little cousins, they're going into like seventh grade, oh, and they were talking about like, oh, they're not excited to go, and like, can you encourage them? Like, no. Seven, seventh terrible. grade is very fun. I get it, guys. It have, have as much fun as college. 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 Conservatory. It's a very hard movie to watch. Yeah. It makes me cry. I love J.K. Simmons so much. Oh, yes. It's such a good movie. Yeah. It, Are you what rushing a sh- or drag? PTSD. Get me pictures <laughs> of Spider-Man. <laughs> hey. Uh, school. Spider-Man. School. Spider-Man. He is in oh, school. Wait, that's you gotta stop him. blowing up. <laughs> that scene in the Amazing Spider-Man one where Andrew Garfield is skateboarding in the, the high oh, school hallway. Oh, because <laughs> he's cool. And oh, that's right. how you know that Peter Give Parker's a rebel. 
It's when he's taking pictures on the film camera, and then later he's looking at those pictures on his laptop, like a day or a, yeah, like, six his, hours later. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you're so fast in developing those, baby. Like, you must have just. I want to point out straight, straight cancer. That's that, how he got the Spider Man. The best from. Spider Man movies were made by Sam Raimi several years ago. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay. There's no I like the cartoon from the '90s. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Is amazing. I'd like to. I think that um, Willem Dafoe is one of the best actors who exists. And he he really went very hard in that movie, and he had a lot of fun with it. I can tell, and I appreciate that about him. That's all you need from any movie, I suppose. Did Willem Dafoe ever go to school in movies? The Last Temptation of Christ. Oh wait, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Sunday he, he school. learned something. He got school. Was there was there school in that one? No, I don't think so. I, I, don't, I, don't, just I don't know what that movie is about. about Jesus. It's about yeah. the Last Temptation of Christ. I'm I'm a Jew. Uh, I, I don't actually know that much sure about it. I'm pretty sure it's the last temptation of Christ. I don't. Well, I, I think it's, I'm not a Bible, I'm not a Bible expert. I think it's that it's period like, where he like goes off into the wilderness and gets tempted by the is devil. It, is it fucking, I thought it's funny. Is, it, it's is like, it New okay. Testament? Leading into his, yeah, it's leading yeah, into so, his death. No, obviously Martin's not, because the Jews only know Old Two Testament. and a half hour. You still Jesus know that he got crucified. This is the movie that he talked that the preacher talked about. Like culturally, you have to understand. Like, yeah. The Jews did, did that, baby. He came and he was like, oh, Jesus movie. We were like, we don't care. Yeah. I mean, so apparently it's very like good. It's like six hours long. It's, and it's, it's incredible. Great. Which it, one's a oh, okay. Which Jesus movie? Uh, yeah. Last Temptation of Christ. Isn't that the one yeah, that's, that's like six no. hours long? No. no. It's two and, that's a score scene. Man. It's two and a half hours long. And it basically, it approaches the idea. I watch this. Are you talking about Silence? No. Um, there's so much Jesus approaches. Movie. Scorsese has two modes and it's religious and gangster. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he's religious going to gangster. Cowboy next. That'll be fun. Which so, is just Western gangster. I like that he's having a good time with Jesus. That is true. He's uh, hitting all of them. All the Harry Potter films. Actually, I'll talk about Last Temptation. Hey, we'll sorry, we'll do a religious. religious movie. Movie. That, that's for the Easter <laughs> episode. Harry right. Potter. But you guys reminded me number of one religion. religion. My favorite high school or school movie that my English teacher showed me in high school. Dead Poets Society. I, How did you know? I was going to say, because your English teacher showed you. Every single person watched that in high school was like, no. I actually I, I did not, God, and I have I still avoided it because it has such it's, a cult following that I I don't actually like, do really like Dead so Poets Society. Good, like, I just don't so care. Okay, for someone who likes the Raven Cycle, you're just, that you would love. Dead Poets Society is one of those, like. I blast on my podcast about that. It's not even happening. Raven it's like a it's like a sad fall movie. I like. I'm right. I I started it and I was like, autumnal yeah. vibes from that movie. That's such a there's a kid aesthetic movie. There's right. Kid that's that kind of why I avoided it. I, like, I no, you gotta be a doctor. And so I do think it's funny. Spoiler. I, I, I think that's the most well known spoiler. Like, he, but one of the most um, well besides uh, Bruce Willis was a go um ghost. Um. <laughs> I oh my God! Shrek three. You just I, wait. You just wanted me. Let Ben Boy, finish his sentence. I, I, I want to point out. Arthur, King Arthur goes to school high school. What the fuck? Okay. I want to point out how funny it is that every English teacher. There's the new King Arthur word. <laughs> fifth graders. I'm sorry. Oh, Literally yeah, every English teacher. Yeah. King. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I think it's full circle. You know, before that movie was even a concept, I had a dream about it, and I can prove that because it's written in my notebook from no, it's written in my notebook from like middle school where I was, I where I like jotted down all my ideas. And I will, I would like a cut of that that work mm -hmm. like when you, when that movie comes out. I need a cut. Cut the check. Come on. I think it's interesting that every English teacher. It's not interesting. I know why it happens. I think it's very funny that every English teacher shows you Dead Poet Society, the I film about how cool English teachers are. Um, and I've had more than one math teacher show me Stand and Deliver. I haven't oh, seen wow. any. It's movies about how it's about um like I think teachers. I think I'm thinking of Stand and Deliver, but it's about like um he's he's a very big time. He's a cool math teacher, and he goes to like a, a poor school, and he teaches them all AP calculus. Yeah. No. Did y'all staff teachers make me watch the film here in that. college? Like the one where he's like the the teacher who's a bad guy actually. Mm -hmm. I, the actor's probably problematic. Um, oh, they show us that in college. <laughs> oh gosh, I remember. No, uh, he's a baby driver. Yeah, a bad actor. Um, Ansel? No. <laughs> Kevin Spacey? Yes. <laughs> So many problematic people in oh, that movie. Bad. But in the movie, Kevin Spacey's like, I'm going to teach you to gamble to this little, like, little Harvard boy or whatever. And then, like, oh, 21? Yes. 
That movie, I I haven't it. seen that. I have a very vague memory. I would be horrified if Kevin Spacey said he was going to teach me to gamble. The only thing that I saw in high school that I would say is significant to me was probably when I once convinced my English teacher who did love me and would bend over backwards for me, even though I, I will take that curse word mark down whatever does he watch this show by any chance probably not okay but, good well, of course he does no but uh i once convinced him to completely derail his class and put on x files for us and hey, that is pretty cool swag. i watched spartacus in class i watched moneyball somehow hey i, I, watch I, watch that. I, watch I do like money there's you just did, one movie so about good. like a private school where like it's through oh, the it's teacher's perspective story. about how Crappy students. He's a big one to sort of And it's like, <laughs> I like the change real fast. <laughs> the crappy student of just like, man, you're a rich little prick. I'm trying to think of like, I can't remember. And like, all of his other students are like really talented and gifted, but he has to like deal with this terrible kid because he's the governor's kid. I don't know. You just, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like, just remind me of another really school good movie. movie Wes Anderson Rushmore. Mm. I like Rushmore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, pines far away. Uh, Beyond the pines. No. Yes. Did I Batman believe? ever go to school? That's no. school, Batman? right? Batman never went to school. Uh, right? I, don't know. I think there's like Place a Beyond scene in yeah. Batman Begins where Alfred's like, "You dropped out of Oxford." That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all the schooling he got. You know, I was having a back to school. Movie movie two. Movie movie two. Which is the same plot as Monsters University. I love Monsters University. They just took Goofy movie two and did it in Monsters University. So good, you boys! Oh my god! I just watched it for the first time because my little brother's. Is it actually good? Yeah, it's alright. No, Uzma Kappa. It's the same as Goofy movie two. Oh, but I have a squishy doll. There's no I know it was in my it was in my. Uh, that just book reminded home. me of my favorite. But I think does this count as a school movie? Do you know Robinson? I remember yeah. that movie. Do you know yes, it has a little bit of school yeah. in it. It has an orphanage. Fair, yeah. And um, Goob, like they hated me. <laughs> <laughs> the kid. I don't know. If I love read. Goob. I love what Goob so much. About? Like Fun Goob's movie. the main villain who gets spiteful because. He, like, You've never seen Meet the Robinsons? I didn't like it. There was something scary about it. The animation was really gross. I really liked Meet the Robinsons when I, I was a kid. That. This explains so much about each of you. The animation's really I gross, love but still Goob. Fun. I personally am Goob. I, All right. I, I, I am the Robinsons. Me. As a, as <laughs> it's a me. Kid, as a young kid, I could resonate with the main character besides the mommy issues. Well, Were you also a dork? Yeah. Because I, I was. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to say that in the judgment no, of you. No, no. I understand. I was very into that movie on account of being a dork. Yeah. Um, have also, have you guys seen the Eliza Thornberry movie? Yes. No. Did they I have to school seen in that one? But I have. There, there was school. They sent her to a boarding school. Oh. Um, Love the boarding school. And then she escapes from it with the help of like the talking animals. I think. Yeah. That reminds Who me. Who was that? And she goes back to Africa to stop the poachers. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Yeah. Oh, with I Emma remember the Nancy Roberts? Drew movie. Yeah. Oh. Nancy Drew. <laughs> Those video games are really hard. I know that they're meant is, for children, um, but Avery and I started playing one um, back in May, and we played it on Expert Detective, and we have been stuck at the same puzzle for months now. Just, it's very hard, and I don't understand, and I know that it's for kids, but I can't do it. I can't get through it. Speaking of, you know, my, expert favorite, detective. my favorite school video game. Persona 5? Yeah. I've been playing really well. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I'm having a bad Actually, wait. But... How fun is Persona? Because I, it seems like it might be fun, but also I don't want to so like. We have already. Like, for real, over and over again. And it's been my problem. I remember like the song and it's like, it's fun. It's so it's fun. fun. It's such a great time. Well, we've already reached the cap for anime. That Just was right there. Anime. That it was counts. the anime cap. It counts. Okay. It counts. Um, I would like to touch on one last movie because. I talk about anime shows that are take place in high school. Well, we don't. There's a lot. Thanks, man. Tora, Tora. No, we're talking about children's entertainment next time. Yeah, I, I love. And anime. Is anime. Oh, hold on. Yeah. What about hold that? On. One? Oh, we're not yeah, touching on anime because Hannah Ka complained. Ka Ka my I yes. I no, Hannah that, straight so. up complained to me the other week. She was like, "You need to keep the boys from talking <laughs> about anime." Yeah, don't. 
Uh, let, okay, this, let the record show yeah. that Hannah did tell me that I need to control the conversation when the boys talk about anime. My favorite high school movie yeah. is Evangelion. Listen, listen, listen. The podcast averages can't be 25% film, 75% anime. It's got to at least be 75 film, 25 anime. You feel me? Does that make sense? No. Anime is also audiovisual media. It is, but yeah. also we're not, you know what I mean? Like at my father I'm listens to this. Big, like I, I want us to, I, you guys know tell your dad to watch Evangelion. Big anime. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Evangelion. <laughs> we can do more. My favorite high school like, show and movie. Movie. I know, I'm just making fun of you. I, I have I know. one question for everyone. Yeah. Did the school survival guide from Ned's Deep Yes. yes. Guide, did that ever come in handy for anyone? What? I, no. I thought any it of the tipsy handy. game. I'm not gonna lie. I used to watch the show. And be like, dang, this is how I should take notes. Man. <laughs> I was in like elementary school, and I got to middle school. And I was like, all right, yeah. Ned, where are you at, bro? Help me out. Man, I. But that I is an excellent tie-in to one of the movies that Trevor really wanted to make sure that he talked about, but hasn't touched on. A single time, uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yes, that's Cinema. a good school. Movie. Actually, that's a really good. Remember movie. when everybody was really into the guy who played Roderick for a little while? Wait, I they still are. Them. They still uh, are. Yeah. Is that problematic? No, no. no. Roderick, Roderick is kind in, of template. Loaded like, diaper, my guy. <laughs> Dude, in the, <laughs> they actually sense. they did a weird thing in the movie because, like, in the, the in in like the um in the book, he looks plus. kind of like he looks kind of horrifying. Roderick? He looks. Yeah, Sky Roderick. High? I'm sorry, that was just yeah. Yeah. Bruce Campbell's. He is. Like, but in like the books, Roderick looks like he's like in the military, like he's got the in shaved the head thing. In and the then in the and then in the movie, they're like ah uh, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they kept it like book or like this is how they look, it would be disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be like, absolutely like, awesome. scene, Oh my god, like, Manny. Like oh, there's no? a scene in the beginning of Roderick where they're animated Girl, and male. they're introducing the characters they're all animated and they turn into real people and I think it's so cool and it's so awesome Trevor loves I love Sorry, it love I remember vividly I saw all three of those movies I dragged my parents like me and my little brother we dragged our parents to go see all three of them so the first one I remember being super hyped for the movies being like yeah I gotta see this and I don't know. I'm glad. I'm glad it's getting more recognition as time goes on because, like, they're legitimately, like, legitimately good movies. Like, I they, they have some nice color grading. They're shot on film. Yeah, they are. Weird. Yeah, thirty-five million. Yeah, weird. But okay. Interesting choice. The dad from <laughs> what's his name? Something's on. He's in that new HBO show. Yeah, I'm watching it. And I'm just the like, yes, I'm having a great time. Is it good? I've heard I, a lot about it. I can't tell, but the last episode aired yesterday, so I'm gonna watch it today. My parents love it. Yeah, yes, my mom really likes it. It's kind of really good. I, I read know. a bunch of articles, or I saw that there were a bunch. I didn't read the articles. Uh, season two, because I, I I wasn't sure if I was gonna watch it. But I saw a bunch of articles about like that and like um like class struggle reading because it's very I, obvious from what I can tell. I would it like is, to thank yeah. the guy who wrote Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Jeff, Jeff Kin. It will Jeff end when I there. end. Jeff Kinley is great, but also Jeff Kinley opened up a whole new section of kids media. I would like to think because after Diary of a Wimpy Kid, um, there mm. there came several other like, yeah, like, versions of that, and I I think that. that um, type of media is very important for um, especially kids who aren't into reading that much because it, it is just as much that they're, they're very easily yeah, readable they're fun the books yeah. when they came out I definitely remember it was just like if you could my brother like you know it was really and I read them too but like I was I was like oh, I didn't really read all of it you know what I mean that was the last one but that was like <laughs> <laughs> That's like seven. Uh, yeah, exactly. But that's that's true though. It's like I don't know what you mean to... that Dire Humpy Kid isn't real literature. <laughs> it is. It's really it's fun. The I think stories are great. Enough. I just distinctly remember my brother was reading Diary of Wimpy Kid and I was reading Dear Dumb Diary, which was like the girl version. Do, because my version. mom was like, You have to read these. And I remember okay, I reading those books. And those books were like the first kind of like relatable yeah. middle school and stuff that I that I can remember. I think those books and then like the Percy Jackson series mm. also yeah. was very good. Terrible movies. Yeah. Oh, but there's now this is Shout out show. Logan Lerner. Aren't they kind oh, of fun to watch Alexander those movies now? Yeah. Hit me up. Who's also in White Lotus. <laughs> and they make it to Lotus eating right How many there? times can <laughs> I say like Horny Joe? Percy Jackson, the first movie where they do the Listen, I, we gotta save Oh, you. you're gonna love True Detective, Trevor. Oh, I've, I've got <laughs> Now I've cursed. It's
a little creepy with Woody Harrelson. Oh my god. Do we have any other points? Um Dan Schneider. Do we need to talk oh, about no, Dan No, we, we don't want to talk about that unless we want to get into like horny need, jail. See, like, this is why we need about, yeah. like a, we need a 1080c form report, but it needs to be like rated R. I think there needs to be a horny jail episode. X rated. Yeah, we can just um, release it like not anywhere. But yeah, we'll just for ourselves. Now, we'll start yeah, a Google Drive. For right, what, right. We'll start a Patreon. Oh, what were some? Be like, oh, look at this, hmm. and it's just Trevor talking about Little Bunny, and you're like, oh, Chris. And me talking about. Uh, no. What were some movies that like are not necessarily maybe are or not high school movies, but were very big to you in high school? Oh, I remember I used to watch the movie. Mm. I forgot about that movie. I forgot about that movie too. I yeah, watched, I was like, oh yeah, it's like Rocky's there. I watched that movie like too many times. Like I was I, I watched that movie and the character, the main character, I was like, that's me. Oh my gosh. And then like that, I used to watch that and Quentin Tarantino movies in high school. So my recollection is like the earlier movies, like I was like, man, movies are cool. Or like some Tarantino movies and uh, maybe Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim feels like a high school movie, even though it doesn't. Yeah. I'm pretty, technically, she's still in high Knives school. Knives is in high school. Yeah, I mean, Knives is in high school. It's so weird being the same age. Scott, Scott Pilgrim was dating a high school. Because oh. now um, I'm like, bro, what, what's wrong with you, bro? Um, <laughs> I could not imagine being like 20, however he was, and dating, was like a, high, and dating a 17 year old. That is mm-hmm. absolutely awful. Yeah. If I Scott feel Pilgrim like... came out today, he'd say kid. I uh, call, call that he, kid. Oh, no, he would, Scott Pilgrim would be a Discord yeah, so mod. He would be a Discord mod, bro. Um, I will say that I think that in high school I watched a lot of um, like across the universe was really big for me. Um, oh god, um, August Rush. I was like a big music, but not like typical musicals. So, because I was. <laughs> better uh, but like you know uh, that kind of thing um that was really it i i watched a lot of youtube and still do so and that's fair yeah i didn't actually get into youtube until like college that's so terrifying it's weird i, I used yeah. to watch i used to watch like a bunch of youtube uh, i used to be a big rooster teeth fan so yeah this is and that was, Rooster Teeth was where it was at. Right, I mean, yeah. The golden age. I think the only movie I think that took, takes place in high school that I relate to is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. You love this film. You talk yeah. about this I film really a lot. like this film. Yeah. I think it's underappreciated. Okay, so John Green movies. Movie. <gasps> Gee, let's talk. I don't want to. I recall. So much to say, though, I recall going to I don't like John Green. The Fault in Our Stars Me and as a movie. Yeah, Fault in Our Stars. That one is standalone, but the rest of us. My friend and I were just like making jokes and feeling Finding Alaska. Finding Alaska. No. Looking for Alaska. No, no, no. No, uh, Paper Towns. Paper, I got a beef with Paper Towns. Because he's like. Michael Sarah in it? Yeah. I think so. Well, I thought that the point of Paper Towns was like. um, I just think that I'm tired of romanticizing. I I don't know. I'm just uh, sick of it. Like Paper Towns. And I was like, Paper Towns is garbage uh, i think that shout out now wait what i do think that paper towns the point is that the guy is being a weird douche oh, i hope so i really have not read it a long time i don't really oh, i i've only seen the movie i've never read it you guys just remind is me. it weird that subconsciously john green has defined our generation through crash course and like the fault in our stars and hank? like yeah hank like i, I he's do like in the crash every, course videos so they're I'm in like, every high school mm-hmm. both Therefore, when I want to learn about both things, I'm educational too lazy to actually read a book. and entertain, yeah, that's scary. That's John Green Why? is literally the king of 2010s teens. What? Um, shout out to, uh, John Green also, one of the inventors of vlogging. Real quick, because he put me onto a movie that does have Michael Sarah in it, and it is a school movie. What movie? Youth and Revolt. Um, it's kind of an incel movie a little bit. Ah, I think, I think uh, the point of the movie is like it's making fun of the movie. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what's the word Parody. ironic satire yeah it's kind of like satire like is it every enough? every character is kind of a that's what makes it good you don't know like in 500 games i'm just watch guys joker is actually a really complex <laughs> um, 
let's Ooh, finish no. this and then finish the podcast because we're probably you, yeah. you, you reminded me of i would like to watch at some point the trotsky a movie about a teenager who believes himself to be the reincarnation of leon trotsky oh. and tries to organize his school oh my gosh on account yeah. of this <laughs> Anna. Oh, I y'all know. I really did you? Were you done? Mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't realize. We, you, you oh, briefly the people, said the people have gotten to our door. You briefly said me, Earl, the and the dying girl, but then I don't know. Yeah. Finished oh, yeah. That was like the only movie I related to in high school because I was like, what about like, I wasn't, just you? you I wasn't watched? unpopular. I watched like a lot of Rus- I watched a lot of like YouTube. Mm-hmm. I watched a lot of history stuff. Mm-hmm. Ton about the Roman Empire. Mm. Yeah, you look like a Roman things. Empire kid. Yeah, well, that and like, I'm over it now. But I was like, this is pretty. I'm cool. over. I'm like, over well, now. I could like. I'm just so over Rome. <laughs> like, I, I'm like that I fell go, in my heart. I could go <laughs> forty emperors in a row. Oh, oh my god! And I was like, man, these guys are weird. No. Really gay. Yeah. It's like I. I had a Latin teacher who, like, if you ever asked him anything about Roman history, would go on insane tangent. So whenever we wanted to kill time, I'd be like, Mr. Can you tell us about, uh, I, I realized that perhaps one day he could watch this. And if you, if you do, I'm sorry. I, they're never but also, I think you do know, I think he knows. I would just be like, hey, can you tell us about Caesar's Gallic campaigns? And he would go. Let's I do have Rome. a box of the entire Roman history on VHS. If y'all ever want to do commentary, like from yes. the beginning to like the kingdom to ne- the fall of the next Empire. movie night, <laughs> have to find Christ. the box. It's okay. literally like a box of the issues. All right, yeah, I'm done. Well, I don't mean about. Oh, I, I just meant about Rome and the Roman <laughs> Empire and that kind of thing. Now, what about a Roman high school movie? Shut what up. a pitch that would be. Uh, the second part of the Richie Jackson series. No, I'm I'm doing my own thing. It's it's set in Rome. Okay. My my high Try school to- my Pompeian high school. <laughs> oh, that was just my entire high school career, honestly. Uh, Man, I don't remember much of high school. I'm not gonna lie. I watched a lot of Cinefix. Watch Mojo. We're cutting down. That video of Tom Holland and the Watch Mojo. <laughs> okay. All right. I know I watched a lot. Of, I liked a lot of Percy Jackson stuff at the time. More than books, so I didn't release. Uh, I enjoy. I had a big Doctor Who face. Uh, yeah, Doctor Who's fun. Like checks out. Face. There's there's some good episodes in there. Okay. That's true. Uh, fun. I like Doctor Who. Like Doctor Who. Uh, I liked. I got into Heather's in high school. I really enjoyed that. Um, did you kill any of your friends? I didn't. I, I after the school shooting happened, I like really turned off to Heather's for like ah. six months. Um, but then I got back into it because of how like, dark it was. I, I do imagine that that would be a turnoff. It, you, yeah, you, it happens, and you're like, ooh, maybe joking about <laughs> it's not funny. It's like really dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, stuff like that. I always, yeah. Oh, I had a big uh, Russian, Russian history face. Big fan of not Russia, but like Russian history. So. <laughs> not a big fan of Russia. Uh, okay. Interesting pick. <laughs> no, 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 Russian history is pretty. Oh it's no, so I know. Bad. I fall asleep to Russian history every night. I, it, you know, Russian literature is pretty interesting too. Oh, I I'm in a Russian lit class this semester. It's gonna be fantastic. I, I can't that. wait. I don't even have to read Crime and Punishment, wait, everybody. I feel like it's. I don't have I to read Crime and Punishment. Read it if you don't have to ask me. Listen, chance. I am just so excited to read any else of. I do think that like Russian I'm like romance it. novels are more fun in my class than like oh I'm sad I did a crime. Oh, I, Ben, we've talked about the Master Margarita at length. Like, so this part is getting cut out. Why are you looking at me like that? We just have to do the outro and then we're done. I don't know. Oh, I should, oh, talk, I should stop playing with this on camera. It's in the screen. It's fine. Hannah's goldfish cup was like in and out it's constantly. It's fine. The goldfish are good. Yeah. I mean... had a Celtic phase too. I have a lot of Celtic music. I know by heart. See, my... This is interesting. Like, I know. Okay. I, have a, I have a little book on Celtic mythology. And Celtic mythology is kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, like the, I like the culture. The, I also the, have the like mythology. Two different. It's interesting to read about like Irish history. Like, and you're like, oh man, how many bloody Sundays can you have? A lot. Not enough, baby. God, British. Got to drink. Or English. Got to have a reason to drink every day. All right. All right. So, wrap. so. That has been the Back to School episode of the 10 ABC podcast. Um, we're, we're not sponsored. Shiva baby! That was in school. Continue. We're not sponsored by Goldfish or HBO Max as of yet. 
Or Yeti, by the way. Yeah, or Yeti. Or uh, Apple, because you'll see the MacBook logo. Yeah, or there. Sony. Well, they're not seeing that. Yeah, they might. They haven't called. They haven't called us back yet. But right. Well, Just we are sponsored that. by Skillshare. Oh. If you guys don't know Skillshare, <laughs> wait, wait. We are now sponsored by Rage Shadow. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, this has been a great episode as, as usual. We will catch you guys on the flip side whenever I get to editing this podcast. And, uh, I have t- free time now. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is that has been it. I will catch you guys later. Adios. Are we still recording? Yeah. Oh.